Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Steph, I run a production house here in Singapore doing photography, videography, live streams, and basically everything tech. Welcome to my channel. This is the year 2024. Are people still using green screens for their video productions? Apparently so. So last week I was running a corporate event and the theme for the event was something related to newscasters and live reporting from newsroom. So this was the banquet hall's layout and we had a green screen set up at a corner to mimic a live newscaster talking to the people in the dining hall while this was broadcasted onto the huge LED wall on the stage. Interesting right? So of course during the event we also had live reporters reporting from people and interviewing people on the floor and this was also broadcasted to the LED wall. I know the concept of using the chroma key sounds a bit daunting to new users and also still presents some problems even for experienced users of the A10 Mini. I just want to share how easy it is to understand and use this amazing function on the A10 Mini. So in today's video, I will slowly explain the concepts, the usage, the buttons and what they do and most importantly, I will share personal real-life tips from my years of using the A10 Mini in my video production as I go along. So without further ado, let's dive right in. In this video, I will break down into explanation of what a green screen and chroma key is, how to use the chroma key function on the A10 Mini and how to set up your green screen production properly with real-life tips. Also, I will be using the A10 Mini Extreme ISO, but don't worry if you own the previous models of the A10 Mini, because the functions that I will be using are also available on the previous models. Understanding Green Screen and Chroma Keys So I'm going to explain this portion quickly and in the simplest way possible so we can move on to the more important parts of this video. A green screen is a neon green background placed behind the subject that we can use post-production techniques to remove and replace with another background or with effects. The process of chroma keying involves layering two images together. First, the subject in front of the green screen and second, the background or special effects put onto the green screen. And on the A10 Mini, the chroma key is known as the upstream key. Well, if you are interested to find out more on green screen technology and chroma key, Google is your best friend, so let's move on to the more important parts of this video. How to use the upstream key on the A10 Mini So in today's video, I will replicate the newscaster green screen effect that you saw previously during my corporate job in the studio. So here in camera 1, I have my furry little newscaster friend seated and facing the camera. I've uploaded my newsroom background, a still image, in my media player 1 and also connected a video on loop on another laptop which is connected to port 4. My preview mode is set to camera 1 and my program mode is set to media player 1 showing the still image of the newsroom. As I mentioned earlier, this function is available on all A10 mini models. So it doesn't matter if you have the A10 mini pro, the ISO or the extreme. In your A10 software control panel, go to switcher, palettes, upstream key 1. If you are using earlier models of the A10 Mini, it should say Upstream Key. Select Chroma. Fill Source here means where you want to take the subject source from. So under Fill Source, select Camera 1 because that is where our news cluster is. I will skip the Chroma Sample portion first because I will show you later on why this is so important. So now go ahead to hit the Chroma Key which is called Key 1 on your A10 Mini console or you can click on the key 1 button on your ATEM software control panel here. Immediately, you can see the newscaster has been cut out from the green screen and pasted on the background. However, you can see that some of the green hues are still present, which means the green screen is actually not keyed out cleanly. So here is where you can make minor adjustments on your ATEM software control panel. Under Key Adjustments, you can adjust the foreground, background, and key edge to clean it up nicely. Also, under Chroma Correction, you can also adjust the Spill and Flare Suppression. 
Under color adjustments, you can play around with the brightness, contrast, saturations, etc. to enhance your image. The reason why the green is not cleaned up properly is because the A10 Mini does not detect a proper green similar to your background. So let me now go back to showing you how the chroma sample works. Do take note that this option is grayed out if you have your chroma key active. So you have to turn off the chroma key first by hitting on the key one on your console or software control. So chroma sample is actually something like an eyedrop tool to tell the A10 mini what is the actual green on your green screen because there are so many shades of green and also with different lighting, different environment, different colors and etc. The green that you have set previously from your other projects may not be the same green. Click on chroma sample and you can select a spot on the black screen underneath which corresponds to the image on camera 1. Click and drag the little square icon and move it to a green spot on your screen. You can actually see that there's a little cursor that moves along when you drag it. So once you have settled on the green spot, click on key 1, the chroma key again. Now you can see the chroma is very clean and near perfect. But if it's not, you can fine tune it with the key adjustments and chroma correction for the perfect chroma key. Now adjust your camera slightly to the left to position your newscaster in the correct position. So this example is for a still background image. So if you want to use a moving background image, you just have to switch your program view to your laptop, which is connected to port 4. So now instead of the still newsroom image as your program view, it is now a moving video playing from your laptop on loop. So using the same method previously, hit the chroma key one and it should look just the way a newscaster would, live in a newsroom. Setting up your green screen properly. Okay, this is one huge tip that not a lot of people know or people tell you on their YouTube videos. Not because they don't want to, but because this comes with years of experience in photography and videography. So one very important thing that many people overlook when doing their green screen is lighting. Yes, with proper lighting, you actually eliminate a lot of problems with green screen. Remember in the earlier segment, I talked about how you can tweak your upstream key settings with the key adjustments and chroma correction settings. If you have a proper light on your subject during your green screen production setup, you really don't have to do much digital adjustments once you apply your chroma key. Another good tip here is to give your subject some distance away from your green background. And this way, the computer detects a difference between the green screen background and your subject and you will have a very clean and nice chroma key effect. And also, you will not have the green background reflected on your subject, which is the case sometimes you see a green cast on the shoulders or sides of the subject, especially when they are wearing white clothes. So again, have proper lighting and maintain the distance between your subject and your green background, and you should have a very nice clean chroma key like this. So there you have it, a detailed but simple guide to understanding the upstream key on the A10 Mini and how to use it effectively if you want to do green screen productions. If you enjoyed this video today, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe for more future videos like this. Anyway, before I go, just a quick shout out, I've created new social media accounts dedicated to this channel on TikTok, Instagram and Twitter, so do go ahead to give it a follow as I will be posting short form content on them pretty soon. Right now, I think there are zero posted. Anyway, thanks for the support all this while. Until the next video, I'm Steph. Take care and bye-bye.